There's a beautiful song called The Rose. And the end, it's something like, the seed lays beneath the snow, and then in the spring becomes the rose. I think that's something like what it says. The seed waits for the light in one respect, but the seed is never apart from the light that gave it its life. I didn't put it in the talk, I didn't have time, but there's a passage that says if Christ was talking to his disciples, he said, if you had the faith of a mustard seed, mustard seed is the smallest seed there is, incidentally. If you had the faith of a mustard seed, what was he saying? He was saying that already in the, that, that the seed is the expression of the life that gave birth to the tree, the flower, the fruit, the seed, in this endless, beautiful, perfect cycle of creation where something dies, something is born. So if I had the seed of a mustard, if I had the seed of a mustard, <laughs> if I had the faith of a mustard seed, it would mean I would be sitting in that understanding. And to the point of the question, my, my eyes would not be on the cold snow. My attention would not be gravitating towards all that is wrong and missing from my life. That's the deception of that nature. It thinks by thinking about what is cold and barren, it proves that it wants the light. No, what is cold and barren thinks about what is cold and barren. You can give your attention to the remembrance of that seed the remembrance of that light. We are always trying to make things better for ourselves. We are not here to make things better for ourselves. We are here to give our attention to what we know is true. And that requires often sitting in the presence of what is untrue so that what we attend to in these moments is what we know is so. We know that love is. We know that it never stops touching us. We know that we are never not being revealed through its touch. And if its touch means in this moment something that seems dark and despairing, to understand that I wouldn't know it was dark and despairing if it weren't for the presence of the light in myself making that so. Then you have a chance to begin to use these moments instead of letting what is dark cast you and them away into some place that will never ever know anything of the regenerative force of what is divine in nature. Catch yourself dwelling on what you don't want. The more of you that you don't want, the more of you there is to not want. You understand that you can begin to let it go and let something that wants you to see all of that act upon you and change you. It will. Love never fails. You can count on that. 